Anna, and today I am doing my latest Trader Joe's haul, as you probably could have guessed from my pink insulated cooler coat, which I have three of them today. <laughs> so it's going to be a good haul. Now, as you know, and I go over this every time, um, we did, in addition to these three big cooler bags of things, get a case of Samantha's gigantic electrolyte water that she loves from Trader Joe's. So um, when we give you the total, that is included. Um, let's start, shall we? Bag number one. Okay, so I got this really nice, I've gotten this before, but I haven't gotten it in maybe over a year. It's just good and I like to get it once in a while because it's delicious. It's a uh, the focaccia bread um, with um, roasted peppers and Parmesan. So good, and tomato, roasted tomato, pimentos, and um, Parmesan. So yeah, and it, this freezes beautifully. So I'm gonna keep mine in the freezer until, cause we have a busy week, so we're not gonna be eating home too much this week. Um, but um, yeah, it keeps great in the freezer. So when I'm ready for it, I can take it out and heat it up and it'll be great. Okay, and then I got uh, zucchini, you guys know, staple in my house. I love making zucchini boats, uh, zucchini chips with Parmesan on them, uh, low carb option to like potato chips in, in the oven um, or a nice side dish. Um, I also saute it, I'll put it in an omelet. Um, I do so much with zucchini. So I've got this great zucchini, three of them for $1.99, which nowadays is not that terrible, um, especially in my area. Let's see, oh, and then I found these multi-grain crackers. I have crackers at home, but I don't have these multi-grain ones with sunflower and flax seeds, they're vegan. I wanted to try them. Um, I like putting out like charcuterie boards and things, and I thought this would be a lovely addition to that. I hope they taste good. I'll try them before I like spring them on my friends, because if they're not that good, then I won't serve them. <laughs> But um, they have, um, you get 12 crackers in a serving for 130 calories, um, six grams of fat, 18 grams of carbohydrate, and one gram of fiber, less than one gram of fiber, sorry, uh, three grams of sugars. Um, so, you know, in moderation, they should be okay with, you know, some cheese if you put out a charcuterie or something. But I wanted to try them and see what I think. Um, and like I said, 12 crackers, that's a lot. I'd probably eat a third of that, which would bring it down to six grams of carbs, which is a lot more acceptable for me personally, for my personal taste. So yeah, but I like that they're multi-grain. Okay. Then I found some new things. Here comes some new things, guys. Now, you know they have the little, um, like, Linzer cookies. They're not really, well, I guess they are kind of Linzer cookies, but they're usually in the shape of flowers. And then um, for Valentine's Day, they're in the shape of hearts. And then um, stars for 4th of July, all that kind of thing. But this I've not seen before because um, it's usually raspberry or strawberry jam in the middle. Um, but now for spring... They have these lemon ones with lemon filling. So I thought those would be fun to try. I think um, Richard will like them. And I, I love lemon, I love citrus. So uh, a great springtime treat. So there's that. And then I found these, these are just fun. Uh, they're Trader Joe's Cheesecake Inspired Truffles Collection. Um, and look at that. Two pieces for 190 calories and um, 14 grams of fat and 14 grams of carbohydrate. So not terrible. Uh, I mean, it's a treat. What are you gonna do? But it has uh, milk and dark chocolate with vanilla flavored chocolate filling, milk and dark chocolate with salted caramel cheesecake filling, um, milk and white chocolate with raspberry flavored cheesecake filling, and milk and white chocolate with lemon curd flavored cheesecake filling. So that's what we have in there. And they look yummy. You can see on the back too. They, that's where I got my information. <laughs> but those will be fun to try. And then, you guys know these are always a staple in my house. Um, the little mini chocolate bars are 100 calories a piece. Um, one is more than enough. Um, this is dark chocolate. They also have milk chocolate, but they were out of the milk chocolate when I went. I usually get one of each, but I just got the dark this time. Um, I was also disappointed because I, 
well, it's, I waited. I waited to make my trip because I've been so busy. And um, they had a lavender Trader Joe's insulated tote that I really wanted because it's my favorite, favorite color. Um, like I don't have enough tote bags, right? <laughs> but I really, really wanted the lavender one. I'm gonna have to look on eBay or something. It's probably gonna be out an outrageous price. But they were, she said they were long gone. And I was like, Ugh, I knew I waited too long to go. But what are you gonna do? You only have so much time in the day, so. Okay, then I got these um, Trader Joe's Brown Butter Salted Caramel Mini Biscotti. I've never seen these. I don't know if you guys have. If you have and have tried them, let me know what you think of them. But I have high hopes for them. I like having a little something something with my um, tea. I stopped drinking cold brew because it was um, the acidity was uh, hurting my stomach. I used to have a cold brew every day and I loved it. And it, it the caffeine kept me awake. <laughs> now I've switched to green tea and it's not as much caffeine. Um, so it's, I'm, a, I'm a little less bouncy, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but yeah, this would be a nice treat to have with my tea or coffee or whatever, hot cocoa, whatever your, your poison is. <laughs> okay. And then I found these great, look how big these are, guys. Look at these strawberries. This is my hand. That's the strawberry. <laughs> They're gigantic. And the girl at the um, Trader Joe's, she was so funny. She came up to me and I thought maybe I dropped something or did something I wasn't supposed to or something. She's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm like, what? And she's, she's like, those strawberries, they're beautiful. I'm like, I know, aren't they great? And she said, they're huge. I'm like, I know, they're as big as like the palm of my hand. So these are gonna be a nice uh, dessert and snack. I just love strawberries and um, these look really spectacular. Okay. And then we've got, I've been looking for these every time I've been to Trader Joe's. I have not been able to find them. Sam actually found them today. We had to look and look for them though. The uh, cinnamon sugar almonds. I wanted to try these for a long time. Um, the last two times I went to Trader Joe's, they weren't there. Um, so I'm glad I found them. You get seven pieces for 150 calories, which isn't bad for a nut. Um, and then they have 18 grams of carbohydrates, of course, because it's cinnamon and sugar. Well, there you go. And eight grams of fat. But if you have them in moderation, um, like I always try to have a half serving because I like to have, I don't like a grazer. I like to have like a little nosh here, a little nosh there. So I probably have like three of these at a time and um, that would satisfy my sweet tooth. So yeah, cinnamon, sugar, almonds. And they weren't with like all the almonds. Sam had to find them in a, a different place. So that was interesting that they weren't with all the other almond products though. So. Who knew? <laughs> and here's another new one guys. Um, brown sugar boba mochi. This is not boba mochi ice cream. This is like a um, candy mochi kind of thing. So it doesn't need to be refrigerated or anything. Um, you get two pieces for 110 calories, which isn't bad. Um, 22 grams of carbohydrate. Um, and of course, uh, 10 of those grams of carbohydrate are sugars. Um, and there's only two and a half grams of fat. So I'm interested to see what we think of these. I'm not sure if we'll like them, but I'll let you know. If you guys have tried these, let me know. I know they've been out for a little while. I haven't been able to find them. Our store just got them like today because they weren't on the list when I went to the Trader Joe's website. You can see what's at your store's location. This wasn't on the list. So I'm glad that we found them. All right. Now this is something I think that was left over from from Easter and they had uh, leftovers of, and I'm not opposed to that. Um, they have the candy coated dark chocolate covered almonds that look like um, little speckled uh, Robin's eggs, kind of like the Cadbury uh, chocolate mini eggs that I love. Um, but I also love almonds. So I think this is gonna be really yummy. And you get 13 pieces in a serving for 140 calories, eight grams of fat and 18 grams of carbohydrate with less than a gram of fiber. Um, but I love almonds and I think this will be a nice little treat and I love the springtime colors. You can see them here, but you can also see them there. Really pretty and I can't wait to try them. So yeah, we get two kinds of almonds <laughs> for an almond house. And then I found these um, Trader O's, Trader Joe's, Joe's O's, <laughs> sorry, Cheerio bars in peanut butter flavor. Now my friends over at PTV um, had tried these. I don't know if they tried the peanut butter ones. I think they did. 
Um, but I, these were the ones that my Trader Joe's had in it. And they, they love them and I wanna try them and see what we think. These will be great too because um, when Richard goes to visit his grandson Emmett in Missouri, um, you know, he, he drives. So this would be a great car snack um because they're individually wrapped in everything and i believe there's a good amount of protein in here yeah three grams of protein uh, a bar only has 120 calories that's not bad um six grams of fat uh, 14 grams of carbohydrate but three grams of fiber so these aren't bad for you um so this would be a great road snack for richard or um you know a quick breakfast if he wants to grab on the way out on his way to work um or just a nice little snack so i'm i'm excited to try these PTV like them, so I know they must be good. And you can't go wrong with peanut butter. Okay, so that's the end of bag one. Put that down there. Okay, so now we're moving to bag two. Now, I don't remember what they put in which bags and stuff, so this is kind of a little bit of a surprise to me, what's in what bag. Okay, here we go. Well, in addition to Sam's waters, she got two of her, and you guys have seen this before, her organic limeades. Um, they're refreshing, they're citrusy, they're delicious, but they also are full of sugar. Um, but she's a runner and, and thin, so she, she can ingest these things. Um, I would stay clear of this, but um, I'd have a sip. I've had a sip to see what it tasted like. She's like, you gotta try it. And it, it is very good. Um, if you're so inclined to imbibe in these, she got two. <laughs> So those are Sam's. Then I got this. I This has been around, but I haven't tried it. Um, it's the crunchy chili onion hummus, and it has that crunchy chili onion um, like spread on it. And I love hummus. It's a great healthy snack, and I'm curious to see how, how this is. I hope it's not like in your face, like spice, like it's gonna kill you. <laughs> I hope it's like a nice, like, moderate spice i like a moderate heat i don't like a smack you and you can't taste anything for the rest of the day kind of heat i like a nice oh that's spicy and yeah it's you know what i mean <laughs> okay so let's see there's 90 calories in a serving and five grams of carbohydrate um two grams of protein um basically I think it says one gram of fiber. The writing's really, really small. You can see it's like really small. You guys know I have problems with small writing. I'm old now. <laughs> okay, so then I've also gotten this before. You guys must remember, I get it every springtime. It's a Trader Joe's ricotta and lemon zest ravioli. So good. I serve it with um, an Alfredo sauce because it's a little bit lighter, or you can do um, a nice butter sauce, like a brown butter with some lemon zest and some basil. Oh, that would be really good. I think I might try that this time, but yeah, yum. And then we have, I had not seen this before, and I don't know if this is a, a normal item, um, you know, that they carry all the time, or if this is a special thing uh, for the season, but uh, we have brioche French toast, and of course this is not good for you. <laughs> But this is a nice little treat. I was thinking maybe I'm like Mother's Day or something um, in between church services. I can heat this up and, um, you know, because I'm the um, online host for um, all of my church's um, services. So I, um, you know, am busy on Sunday mornings. So this will be a great little quick thing I can make for breakfast, either before or in between one of the services. Um, so one slice has 170 calories. <laughs> six grams of fat 27 grams of carbohydrate with one gram of uh, fiber uh, nine grams of sugar and um oh so it's got six grams of protein so that's good um but yeah it's good and i'll probably um i like to either use like a, a cinnamon sugar on top of my french toast or i use a really good um vanilla bean bourbon uh barrel aged maple syrup I got at Costco that they don't carry anymore uh, so I'm like using it really sparingly because I don't want to run out of it um but yeah that's what I put on this and I think it's going to be yummy if you guys have tried this let me know okay I love French toast I hardly ever have it because it's not that good for you and then I get another um ravioli I got the sweet corn burrata and basil you guys know I've gotten this before last spring and this one I do serve with the alfredo sauce and it's delicious and yummy. 
Okay. And then I, um, this I've also gotten before. It's a staple. I love it. It's the um, Honey Chev uh, goat cheese. Um, I'll probably put it on some of those crackers as a snack sometime, but it's so good. I highly recommend this Chev. Yum. Okay. So then we got uh, the Trader Joe's ready to eat veggies. I love this. I use it in a stir fry. You can saute it, you can roast them. You can do whatever you want with them. You can make a stuffing for your zucchini if you wanna keep it vegetarian. Um, so you can make vegetarian zucchini boats. I mean, you can do so many things with this, um, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a stir fry with mine. So yummy. And then, um, sticking with the French toast we had earlier, we got the um, Dutch griddle cakes. Those are back in stock. Uh, those had been away, I think, for the, the season. Um, so I picked up some more. They're really good. Um, again, not good for you necessarily. Um, the ingredients are okay. It's just, you know, the fats and sugars and, and carbs and stuff. Um, let's see. Two griddle cakes. So I only have one griddle cake, so that's good. <laughs> Two griddle cakes is 350 calories, 21 grams of fat, uh, 280 milligrams of sodium, 34 grams of carbs, one gram of fiber, uh, 15 grams of sugar. Um, but if you divide it in half, because I only have one, that'd be seven and a half, which is a terrible. Um, and six grams of protein. So each pancake has three grams of protein. That's good. Okay. And then I got, you guys know, this is also a staple in my house. This is the uh, broccoli slaw. I use this for my egg roll in a bowl. I use this to make just regular slaw instead of like cabbage slaw. I'll make a, a nice dressing and um, mix it with this. You can either use like a vinegar based one or a mayo based one, whatever your preference is. Um, it's nice, it's easy, it's quick. All the chopping is done for you. And um, I love little shortcuts like that. It saves time in the kitchen. Um, and it's not that big of a deal if they cut it for you or you cut it. <laughs> it's, and it's only like to some 249 I think it was for the bag so I'm happy all right moving right along we've got I've not tried this yet um, but I've heard it's really good it's the spaghetti carbonara um, there's three servings in the bag which is perfect for Richard Sam and me uh, you got 280 calories in a serving 14 grams of um, carbo uh, I'm sorry 14 grams of fat 26 grams of carbohydrate with two grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. So that's a good protein packed pasta. And that'd be a great dinner for us. So yeah, I love that there's three servings in there. Just right for our family. And then I got the um, chicken cheese and green chili pupusas. These have been there, but I've not been able to find them because they were out every time I went. So now I'm gonna try them and let you know what I think. Each uh, pupusa has 220 calories, um, 10 grams of fat, 21 grams of carbohydrate, 2 grams of fiber, um, and 13 grams of protein. So, yeah, not bad. And um, this will make a nice lunch or dinner. And I think there's four in here. No, there's three. Three pupusas. Again, we each get one. So that's perfect for our family. And the ring's going off. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So, we've got the Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese. Now, this has been there also. I've just never picked it up. I thought this would make a great side dish. Um, and I love Hatch Chilies, um, so this would be a treat. It's 260 calories in a serving, um, 16 grams of fat, um, 21 grams of carb. no, I'm sorry, 31 grams of carbohydrate, um, one gram of fiber, and 11 grams of protein. So yeah, this is made a nice side dish and um, we probably wouldn't eat the, a whole cup. It says a, the serving is a cup. I'd probably eat half of that, um, but yeah. So that brings all the stats down in half, which is nice for me, but <laughs> yeah. So, and this has, again, um, this only has two servings in it. So I'm sure it'll be three for us because we'll, we, we don't have that whole cup because we use it as a side dish. It's not our whole meal. Then I got two packs of the um, shaved steak. These are great for making um, all kinds of stuff, but um, I got it to make like Philly cheesesteaks. Um, you can even make um, Philly cheesesteak, um, like baked potatoes or something like that, um, or bowls. 
Um, you can make bulgogi with this. You can do so many things, but I got two packs, so I have them in the freezer. Okay. And speaking of bulgogi, I got the beef bulgogi. Um, I love beef bulgogi. I wanted to try theirs and see how it stacks up to the kind I make. Um, it's got three servings again in a package, which is, again, that's great. It's bad if you don't if you have a family of four, um, but we have three, so it works for us. Um, so each serving has 280 calories, 16 grams of fat, 13 grams of carbohydrate, um, and 21 grams of protein, so pack, packed with protein. Um, I'm curious to see how it tastes. Um, if anyone has tried this, uh, let me know. Again, this is the first time I've been able to find it at my store. It's I've been around, it's just been out of stock. And then I got the Portuguese custard tarts. These will be a nice little treat. Those are always yummy. Um, there's four tarts in a container. Uh, a serving is uh, one tart, of course, for 130 calories. That's not bad for a, a dessert. Um, five grams of fat, uh, 19 grams of carbohydrate, um, seven grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So yeah, not a bad little dessert. You get just something, something so sweet. And then we got these, um, I've also looked for these before and couldn't find them. Uh, these are the Papa's Relenas. They are crispy mashed potatoes stuffed with seasoned ground beef and they sound and look yummy. So here they are. And one piece has 240 calories. There are four in here. So this is a big box. So they're pretty um, generously sized. 240 in each one uh, calories, 11 grams of fat, uh, 31 grams of carbohydrate, three grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. So there you go. I'm interested to try these. They look and sound really good. I can't go wrong with mashed potatoes and green, ground beef. It's like, come on. All right, that's the end of bag two. Now bag three, I think was the heavy one. We're getting into the big stuff here. <laughs> yep, okay. So, let's see, I'll do the little stuff and then get to the heavy stuff. So we've got the Belgian um, cookie assortment, lemon flavored waffle cookies. Now they've had these before with chocolate. So these are the spring edition, which I did not realize when I got these. Um, I thought they were the same as before because I just had, I saw them, I'm like, Sam, grab that, can you grab that? Because it was up high and I couldn't reach it. And she reached it and it says they're lemon now for spring. Lemon flavored waffle cookies, almond butter thins and almond butter thins with strawberry flavored bits. Ooh. Okay, so these are different than the ones they had around Christmas time. And I'm so glad I found these because I did not know they were different for springtime. So I'm glad that they did that. Let's see what they say about the stats, shall we? Um, oh my goodness, a serving size is six cookies. <laughs> six cookies and there's seven servings in this box. Oh my gosh. All right, so for six cookies, you get 160 calories, six grams of fat, 23 grams of carbohydrate, less than one gram of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So there you go. Lemon and, and strawberry. Yum. That's going to be so good. I'm excited. Okay, so then I found the vanilla cookie thins, which are new to my store anyway. I don't know if anyone's had these before. Here's the other side. Um, I love the like, like Moravian style cookies because they're nice and thin. And if you take like four of them, it's like a, you feel like you've had a really decent sized stack and you've only had four little thins. Because I'll tell you, um, nine cookies is a serving, <laughs> nine of them for 120 calories. Um, so there's, there, it's like minuscule, less than 20 calories in a cookie. There's a little bit more than 10 calories in a cookie. Um, four grams of fat, 120 calories in the nine cookies, um, 125 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of carbohydrate, one gram of protein. So yeah, another nice little snack where you don't like derail yourself health-wise, but you get your little sweet treat and you're, you can, you know, not feel too guilty about it. So I like that. All right, these I've gotten before um, last year. I got them again because they're really good. 
Um, these sprinkles walk into a sandwich cookie. Um, they are butter cookies filled with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. And they are really delicious. And um, they're fun and pretty and perfect for spring. And um, there's, how many cookies are in here? There are six cookies in a container, but they're, they're decent sized cookies. They're a good size. And each cookie has 140 calories, uh, eight grams of fat, 19 grams of carbohydrate, and less than a gram of protein. But these are just so fun and pretty and uh, a nice little treat. All right, moving right along. Oh, now you guys know I always use Rayo's um, sauce nowadays, but I saw this and I said, you know what, I'm gonna try it. It's a lot cheaper than Rayo's, and if it tastes as good as Rayo's, I may be switching over. Um, Cause Rayo's in my store is like $7.99, and even when I get it at Costco or BJ's or any of that, it's still it, it's pretty expensive, um, like at $7 a jar. Um, but this is organic marinara sauce, um, Trader Joe's brand. And I don't know if anyone's tried it. Let me know what you think. Um, it's got 60 calories and a half a cup, which is a decent amount of sauce. One and a half grams of fat, um, 10 grams of carbohydrates with uh, two grams of fiber, which is good. So that brings that carb count down to eight net carbs. And uh, two grams of protein. So we'll see what we think. All right, but it's made with good ingredients, so that's a good thing. All right, so I also got these, I saw these at the checkout, these ginger chews. They're just nice to have um, if you're, um, you know, having digestive issues or you're feeling nauseous on the car ride or something. They just help a lot. Um, they're natural and, um, you know, they really help with nausea and, you know, upset stomach and stuff like that. So ginger, and ginger's good for you. Okay, and then we got, now you saw the hummus with this on it. It's the crunchy chili onion topper. And you can put this on like so many different things. So I can't wait to put this to use and see how we like it. All right, and then we got, um, you know, the staple in our house, the five seed almond bars. Like I said, Richard's going to visit his grandson in Missouri. And these are a great road snack and he loves them and I love them. 100 calories in a bar. They're full of fiber. They're not a bad snack for you. They taste really good. They remind me of um, hermit cookies that we used to get in Rhode Island, which is more like a cakey kind of bar kind of thing. And it's almost like a spice cake, but in like a bar cookie kind of thing that's soft and it had, you know, all the warm spices in it and um, dried fruits and things. And this is what this does. So it's, it's very reminiscent and similar to that. We love them. Okay, then I got uh, the bourbon vanilla bean. Uh, <laughs> no, we got the bourbon vanilla bean paste <laughs> that I will be using in baking. So I'm really excited about that. This was $4.99 a jar, and it will last a really long time because a little goes a long way. All right. What else do we got? Oh, and then back to pasta. I got the Cacio de Pepe sauce. Um, for pasta, which is like a pepper and cheese kind of sauce. And um, I wanted to see what theirs tastes like. Like I make mine, you know, homemade, but I want to see what, if theirs will save me time, like on a weekday or something when we're busy, and I can just throw this on the pasta and it's really good. We'll see. If anyone's tried this, let me know. But I'm curious to see for myself what it tastes like and everything. All right, so moving on, this is why this was heavy. I got the um, unsweetened green tea, blueberry and pomegranate um, beverage. So I'm really excited about this. There's no sugar in it. I get my green tea usually every day at Starbucks. And the reason I do that is because I've tried making my own at home and I can't get it the way they do. And I think it's because they triple filter their water. Um, and but I'm gonna see what this, you know, how this goes and what it tastes like and if this can be a good substitute, so we'll see. All right, so I got the blueberry pomegranate. I also got, wait, where is it? Oh, it's in this bag. I'm making music, thinking everything yeah. I also got the regular green tea. And then I have sugar-free syrups I add to 
my Starbucks tea at home. I have sugar-free peach and mango, and I just add those syrups at home because my Starbucks, for some reason, doesn't have, they just have sugar-free vanilla syrup. They used to have a whole bunch um, before the pandemic of sugar-free syrups you could choose from. Um, they even had sugar-free like peppermint and stuff. That was great, but not anymore. They only have sugar-free vanilla, <laughs> so I have to make do. So I get my own. I use Jordan Skinny Syrups. You can get them at Target. Um, or online, um, and a, a bottle lasts a long time. So I get the peach and the mango, and that's why I put my tea. And then I found this, looked really interesting. I think Sam will like it. It's Italian blood orange soda. Of course, it has, you know, 46 cups of soda. Um, there's a lot of sugar in there, but I thought blood orange soda sounded interesting. So we'll see how everyone likes that. And then I picked up a couple of seltzers. I got the um, Cranberry and Clementine. Uh, I just got the singles. I didn't need a whole box of them. And then I got two of my um, sparkling uh, lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar drinks because I really like them. Um, apple cider vinegar, they say, has great health properties and benefits for you. Um, I just like this beverage and it doesn't have a ton of sugar and carbs and all that in it. So it's a great alternative. I don't like to drink soda. Um, so I do drink soda occasionally. Um, like when we go to see how Bob, I drink a Diet Coke when I'm there um, with my fancy fruit salad, they call it on the top. But um, other than that, I usually drink my green tea or one of these or seltzer or something like that. Um, so this is nice because it gives you something, you know, carbonated. Um, with some flavor to it. That's not soda and it's not bad for you. So that's why I like that. Okay guys, so this was our Trader Joe's haul. Um, it was a big haul because I have not been there in a while because my back finally is back to feeling better and I can shop and do things the way I normally would again. Um, so for all of this that you saw in Sam's gargantuan case of water, um, <laughs> Our total came to $212.08, and I think we did really good with the variety and quantity of food that we got here. Uh, we are stocked up for quite some time, and I'm quite pleased. So that's it. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching and joining, and if you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you. If you're on Team Replay, yay, thank you. We love Team Replay. I know you can't always, you know, be there for premieres or when the video debuts or whatever. Um, please feel free to go watch it back at your leisure when you have time uh, to watch and everything, and that's perfectly fine. I love Team Replay. You guys rock. Um, and uh, I made my announcement video, so I will be back cooking uh, April 27th at 4 p.m., which is a Saturday, new day, guys, same time. Um, and we will be um, making things with my Dolly Parton um, baking box. So we'll see what we come up with there. But it's gonna be a fun time and I hope to see you all there. Um, if you like this video and you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, it helps out my channel and lets people know that, hey, this video is good and I liked it. <laughs> and if um, you could also set your notification bells to all, you'll know when I do another video, um, have a premiere, um, do a fundraiser, uh, go live, any of those things. Um, so keep your notifi notification bells clicked to all. And um, I think that's about it. So um, thank you for watching, guys. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, stay safe and healthy. And I will see you live on April 27th. <laughs> you all take very good care, and I will see you soon. Bye.